What's going on YouTube, it's Gadget's boy and welcome to another video. Late last year we visited Norway to see what the army was up to with their NATO allies and although we saw some amazing tech and engineering, we weren't allowed to show them, uh, show many of them, but luckily we were back for exercise autonomous warrior. Uh, so what is it? As the name suggests, it's the biggest military robot exercise in British history. Almost 70 different types of robotic and autonomous systems were being put through their paces by over 200 multinational cross-service personnel during the month. Uh, data crunchers, industry partners, academia, alongside the US Army, Royal Marines, RAF, and the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, the DSTL, uh, we're taking a closer look at futuristic technology, including enhanced surveillance drones and unmanned vehicles. The idea was to identify technology that would complement and amplify the work of soldiers of tomorrow on the battlefield, ultimately saving lives. For example, this is the Black Hornet 3, a nano UAV by Fleur. It has the ability to navigate in GPS denying environments, enabling the warfighter to maintain situational awareness, threat detection and surveillance no matter where the mission takes them. At 32 grams, the Black Hornet 3 offers the lowest size, weight, and performance, so swap, for UAS available. The Black Hornet 3 flies 2 kilometers at speeds of over 21 kilometers per hour. The Black Hornet 3 also incorporates sharp imaging processing featuring the flare lepton thermal micro camera core and a visible sensor to allow greater image fidelity. The design also features an improved encrypted military approved digital data link enabling seamless communications and imagery significantly beyond line of sight and enclosed areas. What I also like about this is as you can see on this tank here you can easily launch it off like a a special system designed just for this little, little drones. It can also be flown by hand as well and then you've got the controller and then it's easy to fly. So if you've flown a drone before, maybe it's something that you can easily pick up. But I can't imagine there's a special train or anything for this beyond just being able to notice and spot things whilst flying it. Another autonomous vehicle which I got to drive is the X2 UGV. UGV stands for Unmanned Ground Vehicle. It's used for mine detection, clearance and explosive ordnance disposal. With this, soldiers can avoid the risks involving marching across any terrain filled with landmines. It's super easy to navigate and I don't think you need any special training besides, again, knowing what you're looking for and uh, be able to control it remotely under pressure. There's even an autonomous Polaris MRZRX a light four-wheeled off-road vehicle. While I wouldn't bore you with all the vehicles, drones, and all other robotics that we saw, what's really fascinating is how everyone comes together to show off what could be the future of military warfare. What's even more impressive is how the military uses all the tools in sync with soldiers to ensure their safety, making them more efficient and even better and agile and a solid unit. I can imagine this will help them save lives as well, which is very important. Anyway, guys, can you name some of the autonomous vehicles I ever mentioned in this video? Uh, drop them in the comments below. And I hope you've enjoyed this video as well. If you'd like to see more of this, let us know as well. But make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell button so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a new video on this channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.